We're here at Bass Pro Lure Shopping and we're looking for chatterbaits, but not just any chatterbaits, we're looking for the best chatterbait. I've seen them reviewed online a lot. Normally it's for freshwater and bass fishing, but I want to try them out in saltwater. The best one that I've seen is about $15 to $20. There's no way I would ever pay that for a lure, but I got a gift card and we're going to go see what we can find. What? You're going to make me tip like that? I didn't make you tip like that. Chatterbait, chatterbait, looking for the jackhammer. Please see fishing counter for jackhammer. They're keeping them in a case. That's, they're that good of a bait. Let's find them. Found the elusive jackhammer. Now I just gotta pick a color. Color, color, color to put inside. Nuke chicken, smoky shads, fire craw. There we go, new penny. Always a good choice in our water. New pen. Got it. Let's go fish. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Out here on the water with the jackhammer, just rigging it up. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on, and we're gonna see what we can do with this guy. An interesting bait, but there it is. It's ready to go. Got a little Z-Man diesel minnow trailer on it. Let's uh, let's hope he catches something. I'm up for anything. Well, first cast. It's heavy. Oh, you can feel it. I guess that would be called the chatter. That is weird. I don't know if I've thrown a lure this heavy. It feels so weird. I don't know if I'm gonna know if I have a fish. Part of me just wants to know if, what a bite. Hey, there's a train on the track. That's what a bite feels like. There it is, a bite. Oh, he flew off. Sweet. That's the best bait, Dad. What? That's the best bait? Dude, so I know what a bite feels like now. All right. That didn't take long. There's another one. Oh, I lost it. That was cool. This has to be one of the weirdest baits I've thrown. Just off of the retrieving, because you can feel it. 
Oh, fish on though. There we go. Snook. Big one. <laughs> Decent one. That's a nice one. About twenty two inches. About twenty two inches. First fish on a chatterbait. There it goes. Think we should burn that one? I can't. No, nope, too small. Oh, I got grass. First time I got grass. What I was saying is it's a weird bait to throw. Just because of on the retrieval, you can feel all of that vibration inside as it goes, which is crazy. I'm not used to something like that. But so far we got a fish Lost another fish, so it seems like it's doing pretty well. Hopefully we can get some more. Stinks here. Oh, something picked it up. We got a nice fish. Oh, Daniel, this one may be dinner. Redfish hit it. Yeah, we got a red. Snook and red. Hopefully we can land this one. Not very big, but it should be probably 18 or so. No, then it's too big. You might want to move your trains though. What? You may want to move your trains. Woo! Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> Saw the boat. He's <laughs> gone. <laughs> Man, for a little guy, these reds have been putting up a fight lately. It must be the right water temperature. They're strong. Back to the boat. Oh, didn't like that either. Wow. One, two, four, 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 Hey, 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 calm down. Yes! Yeah, Look at that chatterbait. Well, I think it's a little bigger than you wanted, Daniel. He's bigger than I thought he was. Wow. It's a lot bigger than I thought he was. I thought he was like 18. He's 26. Woo! 26 inch redfish. Pretty good. Yeah, you like that one? Yeah. What do you think? I think he's dinner. You think he's what? Dinner. Dinner? Mm -hmm. You want to eat him? Chatterbait, red fish. Sweet. So that time, what happened there was just a slow, steady retrieve. There's towels right here, bud, behind you. It's caught a bunch of grass. That was the first time, actually. It's 
funny because I was just turned the camera on to record a video to say that even though there's a lot here, it does very well at not getting caught in the grass or anything. So I've been really happy with that. And then as I reel it in to record, it decides to finally catch grass. But really overall, that's just because there was a giant clump of this nasty stuff on top. It has been really good at like working through. I don't know if you can see it, but the water's semi-clear. And we got this really nice turtle grass and it's not getting hung up or caught and I'm working it right towards the bottom most of the time. So that's definitely a nice positive. I am only for like a minute. There's a fish there. Oh, lost him once and he got it the second time. Oh, it came off. I don't know. Oh, I think it was a redfish. Little guy, are you tired? Daniel, are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Always a good day when the family gets to come. Get to be chauffeured in by Captain Ray back there. Earlier, Captain Daniel was bringing us back home with a little trip by the beach. But overall, fun day, caught some fish on a chatterbait. That was interesting, a fun lure to use. Not something I think I'd use all the time. It was kind of a lot more work than I expected being heavy and the movement in the water, but it was a good bait nonetheless. And we caught some fish that we get to eat for dinner, right? <laughs> what kind of fish are we eating? Redfish. Yeah. See y'all. Not a one-eyed sailor? Coral, no. Coral, fat. Good girl. Interesting to use. Not that I would use it all the time. You little stinker, what are you doing? Nothing. Right there, yeah? Oh, here. This is better? Do I look better now? Okay. So we caught some fish.